As we mentioned, the White House says President Trump has tested negative for the coronavirus. This as the president returns to the campaign trail with a rally in Florida Monday. It's his first since testing positive for the virus and the first of four he'll be holding in as many days in key battleground states. Weijia Zhang is at the White House with more. With President Trump's physician announcing he had tested negative for COVID-19, a maskless Mr. Trump raced back to the campaign trail tonight for his first rally in 12 days. Thousands of supporters in Sanford, Florida, started lining up this morning, many also avoiding masks. Then he recovered. And I said, well, take that, COVID. <laughs> I guess you messed with the wrong president. The president is also making trips to Pennsylvania, Iowa, and North Carolina this week, a total of four key battleground states. He trails Joe Biden in all but Iowa, where the candidates are tied, according to CBS News. White House physician Dr. Sean Conley did not say when the president tested negative, only that he did so on consecutive days, and that the medical team determined that the president is not infectious to others. But Conley did not corroborate President Trump's claim of immunity on Sunday. It looks like I'm immune for, I don't know, maybe a long time or maybe a short time. On Twitter, the president's post about immunity was flagged as a violation for spreading misleading and potentially harmful information related to COVID-19. Meanwhile, one of the president's campaign ads is drawing criticism. I can't imagine that anybody could be doing more. Dr. Anthony Fauci said his full quote was taken out of context to make it appear like he was endorsing President Trump's handling of the pandemic. I think it's really unfortunate and really disappointing that they did that. It's so clear that I'm not a political person. And Weijia Zhang joins us now from the White House. Hi there, Weijia. So despite the president testing negative for COVID-19, is there any sense privately among some officials that the president might be getting back on the road too soon? Well, certainly right after President Trump was diagnosed, we know that uh, top aides were expressing concerns, were saying that uh, his health was actually worse than what the doctors were relaying to the public. But now, publicly, the message is clear, and that is that President Trump is fine, he's well, and he is ready to hit the campaign trail again, because time here is so critical. And Mr. Trump really wants to make up for the time he lost while recovering. Uh, from COVID-19. So behind the scenes, there were some concerns. We know that reportedly um, one of his children even publicly said that, you know, he thought his father was acting too uh, quickly, and that's Donald Trump Jr., um, you know, was, was said to have uh, questioned how fast his dad was, um, you know, rearing to get back to business as usual. Again, he is in that vulnerable um, category. He is 74 years old. He is obese. He is a man. But the president himself is brushing all of that aside, saying he feels better than he did uh, 20 years ago. Uh, so certainly it's clear that he wants to be out there again, just like he is tonight. Well, Ouija, we saw in your piece that in Sanford, Florida, you had supporters lining up, um, many avoiding the use of masks. Is the campaign stepping up safety precautions at these upcoming events? They have not changed any uh, safety protocols for rally goers. Um, in fact, you know, as you mentioned, you could see tonight in Florida, uh, the attendees were standing shoulder to shoulder. Few of them were wearing masks. Um, no social distancing was in place for the chairs. And that's precisely why Dr. Anthony Fauci uh, warned that these rallies are just asking for trouble, in his words, especially as he pointed out, because there are states that are starting to spike. We are heading into flu season. And they have said repeatedly, not just Dr. Fauci, but other medical experts, that this is a really critical time, that there could be a second wave as we get deep into the fall. And so there's certainly a lot of concern about these massive gatherings. But to answer your question, no, there are no new additional measures for uh, people who decide to go and see the president. 
So let's talk about messaging here. Monday's campaign rally in Florida is the president's first since he was uh, diagnosed. Is he changing up his message to supporters in light of his diagnosis? Well, I can tell you that there's one message that they should expect to hear and that others should expect to hear repeatedly, and that is that he has now literally defeated the virus. Um, it's something that he will continue to say as he urges uh, people to reopen, to get back to normal. So I think it'll just be an extension of what he has already said for months now, which is that he has succeeded um, in the U.S. response to the coronavirus, that he is the only one who can get the ravaged economy back on track, and that he is stronger uh, than former Vice President Joe Biden. All of these things he's been saying and will continue to say, again, as the uh, time runs out for him to make his case to the public to give him a second term. Uh, so you have Supreme Court confirmation hearings for Judge Amy Coney Barrett underway. How much is the Trump campaign hoping that a successful confirmation will give them a political boost just before Election Day? Oh, they are really relying on this a lot, and you can see it in their ads. You can see it in uh, what surrogates are saying, because this was a promise um, recycled from 2016, when he promised that he would appoint uh, more conservative federal judges and Supreme Court nominees. It is a promise kept. I mean, for him to be able to uh, nominate three picks to the Supreme Court is a huge victory. And again, it is something that he has been touting since he was a candidate the first time around. And so we do expect them to really drive this home because uh, we know that the courts are so critical uh, to his voters, especially to his base, and they want to make sure they can retain that enthusiasm, even if they have lost it in other areas, uh, retain that energy and excitement uh, to drive people to the polls, especially among religious conservatives. So sure, that is something that they're banking on to get through. All right, Weijia Jang at the White House. Weijia, always great to have you. Thank you. Great to see you.